The bar is closed in this picture, but you can bet it won't be too long before alcohol is served somewhere aboard a cruise ship. Most travelers know that the cost of alcohol and even carbonated soft drinks is not included in the base price of most cruises. There are a few all-inclusive cruises where this is not the case, but they are the rare exceptions. Policies vary widely by cruise line, but many companies are offering some version of a prepaid card for purchasing beverages not included in the base price. These cards are popular but also quite expensive. On some lines, a beverage card can cost $60.80 slash person. It's good for soft drinks and some alcoholic selections. Sometimes it's possible to buy cards for a fraction of that price that are good for three or four drinks. Cruise lines will allow you to bring a bottle of your own wine aboard and have it served at dinner, but you'll pay a corkage fee of $10 or more for the privilege. To get around this, some people smuggle spirits aboard. Those who are caught have the bottles confiscated and returned at the end of the trip. Bottom line, if you want to drink anything but water, tea, or coffee aboard ship, you're going to pay for it sometimes dearly. Find out if your cruise line will allow you to stock your cabin with a supply of soft drinks you bring from a nearby store at embarkation.